Hello, I'm CJ Fiala reporting for the news feed. This is your feed update for Wednesday, February 4th. A TransAsia Airways plane crashed into a river early Wednesday morning, killing at least 25 people. Another 18 people have been reported missing. Flight GE-235 with 58 people aboard banked sharply on its side shortly after taking off Wednesday from the Taiwanese capital. It clipped a high-wage bridge and then crashed into the Keelung River. Rescuers and rubber rafts pulled 15 people alive from the wreckage during the daylight. After dark, they brought in the crane, and the death toll is expected to rise as the search continues Wednesday morning. The Super Bowl champs New England Patriots are making their way through the snowy streets of Boston, and they're drawing wild cheers from giddy fans. Well-wishers pumped their fists and screamed from behind barriers Wednesday as the team set off on the World War II-style land and water vehicles that have become a staple of the city's championship parades. Some fans leaned on massive snowbanks left from last week's blizzard, straining to get a glimpse of Super Bowl MVP Tom Brady, Coach Bill Belichick, and other players. The crowd roared as Belichick waved the Lombardi Trophy. Sunday's 28-24 victory over the Seattle Seahawks was the Patriots' fourth NFL title. To Kill a Mockingbird will not be Harper Lee's only published book after all. Her publisher announced Tuesday that Go Set a Watchman, a novel the Pulitzer Prize winning author completed in the 1950s and put aside, will be released on July 14th. Rediscovered last fall, Go Set a Watchman is essentially a sequel to Kill a Mockingbird. The 304-page book will be Lee's second in the first new work in more than 50 years. The existence of Go Set a Watchman was unknown until recently, and its discovery is an extraordinary gift, Harper publisher Jonathan Burnham said in a statement. To Kill a Mockingbird is among the most beloved novels in history, with worldwide sales topping 40 million copies. And that is your feed update for this Wednesday, February 4th. I'm CJ Fiala. Thanks for watching.